Hey guys, are you there? Where's all my people at? <clears throat> Happy Monday. I still fucking love Monday. Where's all my people at? Where's all my people at? Today is a great day. Today I have a great message for the people. Today I came to bring love. So if you don't know me, I'm Sarah Richardson. Talk a lot of shit. Love it, love it. So, in hey love, doing this message today with spirit, um, I really realized that I have been in a male dominant world my whole life. Um, I built houses. I was a barber. I was a barber teacher. You know, all these avenues that were my base, um, it was male dominant. It was a male dominant life. And so, you know, I was talking to spirit. I was pulling some cards. I was doing all kinds of stuff. And boy, spirit showing out. Feeling me, right? I love you. So if you guys don't know, these are the together feathers that me and True make. If anyone on here lost someone and they're wishing sometimes that they could be together, please message me about a together feather. Uh, we're giving out the love, man. I'm teaching my baby how to give out the love. I do not want my baby to be raised in a male dominant world. Um, I want to give her a nice balance of masculine and feminine I love you guys so I pulled this card today for Lilith does anyone know who Lilith is I did not know who Lilith was until I got my regression at the beginning of the year but this is some deep stuff and it's hitting me right where I'm at see that's the good thing about spirit spirit is always right on time like right on time stinking time. I love it. So I'm going to tell you guys about this. Lilith was the first woman. I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose life that I desire to live. Lilith embodies our sovereignty to declare our desires and do what must be done in order to live them out. According to Jewish folklore, Lilith was Adam's first wife. Oh shit. Some people aren't going to like me, right? She was created from the same earth as Adam. So when he expected her to be subservient to him, she refused. Go Lilith. I always embody this. Go Lilith, right? Lilith explained to Adam that they were equal made by God. So when Adam insisted on her submission, Lilith uttered the divine names and flew away. Hello, sweetie. Supposedly, Adam sent angels after her to force her to return, but she was with Archangel Samuel and she desired to remain with him. Ancient Jewish midrash or retelling of biblical stories portray Lilith as a demon. Mm, I felt that before, huh? But contemporary feminist theologians like Judith, whatever her name is, have incorporated women's experience and women's voices into traditional texts with their own. Uh, she transforms the fearsome, vilified Lilith into a wise, empowered woman. And that's what I want you guys to feel. This, I, oh, oh, let me keep reading. Lilith embodies the emotional and spiritual aspects of our unconscious or unrealized desires. Sensuality and unbridly sexuality. Happy 999. She owns her body and soul completely. For many women, Lilith is an icon of freedom. Lilith is first the first woman. She is the woman who refused to be dominated or defined by anyone or anything outside of her. I've always been like that, guys. I refuse to be dominated. And I didn't always feel like I was right in that space. But God's coming in today like, go, girl. Go, girl. Keep loving. Don't stop. When you select this card, when your soul selects this card, Lilith asks, what would happen if you left everything behind? She wonders what prevents you from getting to experience all that you desire. Is it you preventing you? Is it an idea of someone that you have to be out here? 
Is it society's definition of what it means to be a woman? Lilith asks the question that sometimes never fully reach the light of consciousness. Lilith is unclaimed. She is the ruler of her body and soul. And she reminds us that we are too. And not only that, we have a sacred obligation to be the body's fierce protector. Hey, Justin. If I were entirely equal to everyone else, to every man and every angel like Samuel, what would I choose for my life? <clears throat> if I see myself as worthy as the first woman ever created by the divine, what more could I ask for? I am living the life I de am I living the life I desire? Am I actually fulfilled sexually in my current relationship? Are there aspects of my sexuality I haven't been able to face and voice? Lilith refused to settle. She answered all these questions within her and took action on the truth she uncovered. Lilith demanded that she meet with what she really desired and that she's here to demand that we all do the same. What do you desire, right? So the meditation is, what does the life I truly desire look like? Meditate on that. Set intentions. I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose the life that I desire to live. I love you guys. I love, love, love you guys. You know, when I first heard of Lilith, I didn't know about all of this. I was kind of overwhelmed, right? And I was learning about the darker aspects of me, my shadow self, the, the side of me that I didn't let everyone see, the side of me that I kept down, kept tucked, right? And I'm learning. And it's a process. And so as you're in your process, please be patient with yourself. So, you know, guys, I'm so so many things I really don't like labels but labels is how people learn what we do and learn to understand you know if they vibe with us or if they don't vibe with us I'm not really into tricking people yes the fire within the flame within right so now I'm an energy worker I'm a teacher I'm a mother I'm a daughter I'm a sister I'm a friend you know I'm a flame I'm a flame. I, my job here, and I'm honored to be that, is to come here and lift the vibration of the planet. I didn't really get it, and it's hard sometimes. Um, it really does get hard sometimes, because I had a friend message on my last video that she was crying about all the pain in the earth. We feel this pain in the earth. We see these kids that are living these dysfunctional lives. We see families being ripped apart we see the taxes going up and the minimum wage is way down we see people struggling and we feel all of that right um you know I got so much love for my people man I got so much love for my people hey love um I always knew that I was different than most women I just didn't know what it was I had no idea you know and my whole life, I've been this divine feminine in training. That my, you know, everyone just told me to shut up and sit down. Shut up and sit down. I'm like, no, fuck that. I'm up. Uh uh, you ain't. You know, I'm a woman's advocate. I'm all about, you know, lifting women's vibrations to let them know they can do it by themselves. They're able to do it by themselves. Don't sit in no shit that hurts you just to get the bills paid or just to have the house or just to have the car or whatever like that, right? And then I know a lot of been, people been feeling this uh, rise of the divine feminine, right? And so, you know, I've always been a little bit weird. Like, it's like I have to get the messages first or something. So in the rise of the divine feminine, I kind of started to give love to the divine masculine, right? Because I knew a lot of these feminines were rising up. And I knew a lot of the men were like, what is going on, right? But I can see that, okay, so as a divine feminine... You learn from the divine masculine, even though it's a little bit of fuckery, right? But they're your teacher and you're the guy, you're guiding them. So you're guiding them by rising, right? So they have to rise up to meet you, but they're teaching you what's going on through what they're doing to bring that into the 3D. It's really confusing. That's why I know it's my job. It's all about energy and a lot of it doesn't make sense. So, you know... There is a science to 
being a twin flame. So if you're a twin flame and you're out here and you're having a hard time and you're going through all this stuff, learn about the science of tw twin flame. If you have any questions on where to go about that, message me. I love to talk about this stuff. I know it's not for everybody and that's okay. Um, so like I said, he teaches you and you guide him by loving you if that makes any sense, right? So this isn't your normal, typical, earthly relationship. This is like, I do believe, what Lilith was trying to do then, but it was a low vibration, right? So she just said, fuck it, I'm going with Samuel, I'm over here, peace out, right? <clears throat> and what we're trying to do is we're trying to change the way that these relationships are going out here guys because it's totally dysfunctional it's totally unhealthy it's totally off course of what the divine wants for us as human beings and so we're here to change it and get it back on the right track and raise the vibration and we're not dogging anyone out and we're not pushing anyone down to come up you don't have to push anyone down to come up you can just come up by yourself right so I know right now through the conversations that I've been having, through the things that have been going on in my life personally, a lot of the divine feminine feel like leaving the relationship right now. If you're in a relationship with your divine partner, the divine feminine aspect of it could be a man, could be a woman, doesn't matter, is really feel like leaving. Like I've had enough of this shit. This is some bullshit. I deserve better. The Lilith is coming out in them, right? Fuck you in the name of love. You're getting on my fucking nerves in the name of love. But guys, don't quit because this is where we change it. This is where we collapse the 3D. This is where we go back into love ourselves. I'm not saying be a doormat. I'm not saying get treated bad. I'm not saying any of that. But we got to lift the vibration of the planet and let's do it together. I'm here for you, right? So, you know, a lot of people are trying to run from these things that are going on. A lot of people have really crazy things going on. They're trying to run from it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Trying to back down, back out, just like smooth, get out of it and, and don't want to come back. Guys, if you are a flame, this is an unbreakable contract. You can't break it. So whether you know what his face looks like or her face or don't you can't break this contract i mean this is what you guys have been going through since lilith and adam right you've been going through this for however long you've been incarnating on this earth and been coming to this earth and so this isn't like a soulmate contract where you can break the contract. You cannot break this contract. I'm sorry. You know, I mean, you can give up and you can learn lessons through other people. You can do whatever you want, but you cannot <laughs> break this contract. Me too, girl. Me too. And I love that you're on here. And I love that I have people on here. I tried to too. I mean, just last night I was like, fuck this in the name of love. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. And then today God's like, you can't be done, girl. You got work to do out here. So, you know, a lot of this is perception and how you see things going on. And I know a lot of people don't believe in this anymore. They did at one time. They got their hearts broken and then they quit believing. I get it. This is some tough shit to do for the man, for the woman, for everybody involved in it. This is some deep, energetic purging and healing and seeing through and understanding and unconditional love to raise the planet of the earth. That's what our job is here to do. You know, and some people say, well, how much do you get paid? And I'm like, you have no idea what the universe does for me for doing this work. You know, I'm absolutely, totally, 100% provided for, for diving in and doing this work. And it's hard work. And only God knows and the people that are doing it, how hard this work can be sometimes. Um, so like I said, if you try to quit, you're still going to have to learn these lessons. These lessons are still going to come on you. You're still going to have to do this work, right? And I'm here and there are a bunch of people here and a lot of people <laughs> know about it. I love you. It is deep love. It is super deep. You know, this twin flame journey is an adventure into the great unknown. This is the fool's journey. This is like everybody in your past and your lineage has gotten hurt. And now here you are, heart wide open, heart on love, ready to just love up everybody and love the world. 
that's what it is. That's what it is. Um, you know, beware out here of energy transition. So, you know, every single person, whether you know it or not, you take on other people's energy, right? And so, you know, right now is a time to leave the familiar behind, move forward, forgive your past, um, test your abilities to gain self-knowledge. So however you do that in your life, that is what you need to be doing right now. Go in. Go inside of you. Heal you. This is what you need to do. You can't help anyone else until you've healed you first. And it's been a journey for me. Like, I've been literally going in and healing me for 13 years. So be patient. Love on yourself. Give yourself time. I'm a heart full. I love the hearts. Keep pumping the hearts. I love them, love them, love them. Get passionate about you. You know, be passionate about you that's what you need to do you know this twin flame journey is not like you know the fairy tale it's not anything like the fairy tale of anything it's like you know a little fairy tale a little horror story all this crazy shit all mixed up into one for such a big purpose right and so you know it may not feel like it right now but the divine masculine has your back for real for real for real right but you're if, if you don't see that which I'm guilty sometimes you know I, I fell off last night you're not you're looking through your regular eyes you're not looking through your observer you're not looking with your soul's eye your God eye you're not seeing it that way you're seeing it for what's happening on the 3d and I get it you know and when you talk to your friends they're bringing up the 3d and I get it but guys, if you're on this journey and you're on this with me, you got to go into your mind's eye, your third eye, right? So what did I have to do today? I had to go run the steps like a crazy fool to get this energy out of me. It's inside of you. And what did I say in my last video? You have to physically release these fears and traumas that are inside of your body. And so how do you do that? How do you do that for you? You know, there's so many ways. I do something different all the time. And last night was a doozy, and so today it was like a must that I got up there and I ran those steps. And not only do I run the steps, I run the steps, I jump down the steps, I do uh, squats the whole way across, I do my planks, I do my push-ups, I do my sit-ups. I had like five people watching me like, hey, can we do that with you? When do you come down here? Come on, bring it, right? So, <clears throat> um... You know, a lot of times, guys, and I'm learning through my, um, you just take a time out and then see, yeah, girl. I'm learning through, you know, what just happened to me last night that um, he feels like he's protecting me by not telling me the things that are real in life. Not realizing that, you know, I know, I feel it. I already know and I already feel it. Like, I'm not a fool out here in the name of love. And I had to know, you know, I'm trying to like bring this relationship from the 5D because in the 5D it's perfect. When I, when I connect with him in 5D, when I connect with him in my work, when I connect with him in my heart and I feel it, it's so perfect. But when it comes to like the 3D stuff, that's where we get off track. And it's like I understand all of his fears because he is me, right? And I have all those fears too. But I learned that I needed to change my perception and remember that by him not telling me, he's trying to protect me from these things that he's trying to heal up from. So, you know, he's also teaching me not to get pulled into his emotions, right? So I don't know for sure because we don't really communicate that much, right? But the emotions that I was feeling last night, I'm feeling like had to have been his because I'm pretty laid back. I'm pretty to myself, you know. Um, we had a lot of things just go on, and I pretty much mind my own business, stay in my own lane, fall in love with myself. Yet these emotions that came through me were really powerful. And last night, I didn't do it, but today when I was talking to Spirit, I got redirected and back on track. You know, you got to shield yourself off, and the angels reminded me of this today. And so, like, for me, I put green down on me, and I put purple down on me, and I put a bubble all around me, right? And what I should have done is I should have done that last night. 
but I didn't. I rolled in my doo-doo. I tried to cry and I couldn't even cry. I was just so pissed off, right? Um, today was my baby's first day of school. So I was just like, fuck it. Turned on the 528, went to sleep, woke up early, meditated, got a shower, woke my baby up. She had a great first day at school. I don't know. I didn't pick her up yet, but I'm sure she's like vibing out of control, right? And so as women, you know, not only do we have all this shit going on with this relationship and trying to get relationships right and trying to do all this, but we have our kids. We have our kids. We have our work. We have our house. We have our laundry. We have our food. We have all these things that we have to keep up with. And you know what? when I was talking to spirit today spirit was like that is what makes you a badass divine feminine is that not only are you doing all this stuff but you're also keeping up at home you're keeping up with your baby you're raising her in peace she had no idea we were going through this you know we're sitting there arguing and of course she's my test right so she asked me to call him because she wants to tell him that it's her first day of school and I'm like okay well he's working so I don't know if he's gonna answer of course no answer I knew that was gonna happen but my baby's only four and she's not ready for all this yet but she is my inspiration to do this because I don't want my baby to grow up in all this relationship dysfunction that we have all grown up in, right? I, I see it. I've seen it for years. I've fought against it for years. And now my job is to lift the vibration of it, to see through it, to see with my sacred fear, to not let the things that are happening on the earth get on my fucking nerves. You know, I have to see through that. I have to call you guys. I have to talk to you guys. I have to talk to you about this stuff. I have to surround myself with people that understand energy, frequency, vibration, lifting the vibration of the planet, unconditional love. These are all things that are not common to a lot of people. I know a lot of us on here talk about this stuff and you know, you can post a meme all day, but until you're really getting in and alchemizing this inside of you, you ain't really doing shit. I mean, I guess, yeah, you can start off with the memes, but like, you got to live this shit in your home. You got to live this <clears throat> in your heart. You got to live this in your third eye. You have to know that this is real. I know a lot of people message me like, uh, the twin flame journey ain't even real. Well, then what the fuck am I doing? Please tell me. I don't know, right? I have a job to do here. This I take my work real serious, right? To me, it's not necessarily about the the romance and the love here it's about getting it right it's about I want to get it right to help the planet see that all these relationships in the past were dysfunction dysfunction women being subservient men thinking they rule needing the woman but the woman's down here everything was a fucking clusterfuck and kids were raised like this and so you know like whenever I got pregnant with my daughter and things were going wrong I knew by my heart, tuning into my heart, like, I can't do this. Like, I'm going to have this baby, but this relationship thing, I can't have this. I can't have that. So let's just team baby, co-parent, we can do it, right? Um, You know, I love my twin. I know my twin. We've been in union. We've gotten pregnant. We've lost a baby. We've been through a lot of things. <clears throat> Some of the things he does hurts my feelings. Some of the things he doesn't do hurts my feelings. We're learning, right? He pissed me off beyond measure between last night and today. And then it brought up all kind of old shit and all kind of stuff started coming up. But today when the angels reminded me about shielding, not only did I shield off me, but I shielded off him too because I love him. Even though he's not doing what I want him to do, even though he's not, you know, receptive to my communication, all of those things, I still know that if I'm feeling that, he needs shielded off. From past conversations that we've had about things that come into his life, um, you know, I'm taking on the energy that he's dealing with in his life. Am I pissed off? Hmm. I mean, I guess, but then you just love you and then you just forget all about that, right? And so I shielded us both off before I even came on to do this video. And so if you guys want to know about shielding off, message me. It's really important to shield off before you go out into the world and take in people's energy, before you have a phone conversation. Guys, <coughs> <coughs> Ooh. see, <coughs> that's somebody's energy right in here, right? So you want to shield off before you're, 
doing things with other people because you're taking in other people's energy and you don't notice it you don't think it's real just like the flame journey right it happens I guarantee it that's how I know because you know being a flame twin flame whatever makes so much sense for the work I, my work doesn't make sense <coughs> but it works my work doesn't make any sense it's better off for me not to explain it to you just lay you down on the floor and do it but if I try to explain it to you <coughs> you're not gonna understand you're gonna go round and round about well this well that well you're gonna be real 3d about it I don't work in the 3d I work in the 5d your body always wants to heal you can heal you're the healer you're the creator all these labels and all these things they put on us they're not that's not real to me so everything you guys see in real life 3d <coughs> that's not real to me if you want to talk to me up here we can go for days right so <coughs> I'm here to tell you today don't focus on the doo-doo say it one more time for them in the back <coughs> somebody needs to speak their truth don't focus on the doo-doo be astonished by the beauty of life in all its facets if you're going through something right now that's hard that's challenging leave it alone I did leave it alone it doesn't make my love any less anymore I didn't get it right that's okay I'm sharing this with you because I'm real right and then I had to go run to get that doo-doo out of me take a shower to get that doo-doo out of me connect with spirit to, to fill up with love right and then I'm astonished by the beauty of the world I'm astonished by all the magic and the miracles that happen all the time right and so you can't focus on the doo-doo you know your your life is what you're perceiving you know my whole entire life I've had men that cheated and lied and everything else right but to me, I know that this relationship is different, but I also know that we're both healing, right? And that we're both on our own time and that you can't push somebody together and you can't push healing on somebody and you can't make somebody want to heal, right? And so you just hold space. You hold space, you give love, you don't get caught up in it. See the extraordinary in the ordinary. So, you know, a lot of people are like, well, you know, I don't do healing work. I don't do energy work. I don't see these things you see. Get outside and look around. Look into nature. Connect with a tree. Feel the rocks. Put your feet on the earth. You know, <clears throat> these are the things that I've had to do along my way. You know, and, and through that time, this just became natural. These videos that I do, all this stuff that I do became normal through practice, through working it out. Find balance in your heart. So inside of you is a masculine and feminine energy. And if that's off, the outside is off. And so inside, in your heart, is where you find the balance inside yourself. Meditate. Sit in the ground. Turn off your phone. Turn off your computer. Go into nature. Go to the waterfalls. Go to the trees. Feel the wind. Ask a question and watch the universe show you in the wind it's amazing it is the most amazing thing there ever was i know you guys are feeling it right now this rebirth so there's a giant rebirth i've been feeling it for like the past three days in my guts um you know and all my ladies out here who have had babies you guys know who that how that is you know us women and men i'm sure um, if any men want to validate, we can feel real testy at a time like this, right? We're rebirthing ourselves. We're, we're expanding right now. And so, you know, you just want to be babied and you just want to be loved. And if that person can't do it, whatever, let me call my girlfriend. I don't even give a fuck. Like, I don't even care. You know, you want your ice chips. You want to just lay in the bed. You want to relax. You want to do what you want to do. You want to have conversations that you want to have. You want the people around you that inspire you and fill you up and make you feel love, right? That's rebirth. And so I don't know if you guys are feeling like that too. I don't know if you feel it the same way in your womb space, but that is what's going on. My girl, my girl. Um, 
slow down to see the magic. And so a lot of people that I'm talking to that say that they don't see the magic, they're running and flying through life. And I get it. You know, my energy is on high. My, I was doing a coaching call the other day with somebody that I don't know that knows another person that knows me. And they were saying, oh yeah, you know, you were a cheerleader. You have that kind of spirit. And I was like, you know, I never really like heard it that way or thought of it that way, but I was a cheerleader my whole life. And maybe that is why I cheer you guys on to love yourself, to focus on yourself, to let go of the doo-doo. I know the doo-doo is real, but you have to see through it to what you want, right? So what you want is in here, in here, you have to seek it out here, right? So if we keep talking about all these things that we really see in real life, what people tell me, we're gonna keep getting that. So how do we get something new? Do something new. Did you ever go into your third eye and believe that? Did you ever drop into your heart and believe that? Did you ever speak your truth and believe that? That's what it is. The bridge, you're building a bridge from the 5D to the 3D, from the unseen to the physical table, from, from not imagination to real life. Can you believe that? Do you believe that? Because if you don't believe that, just delete me as a friend. That's how I believe. That's how I live. That's how me and my friends talk. That's what we do. I know, it's crazy, right? Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Sometimes your intuition got you doing some things that just don't seem right. You know, and, and what I was doing last night just didn't seem right. You know, in this, through this relationship, I never really had a relationship, guys. So I've done a lot of bending, uh, thinking that maybe I didn't have a relationship before because uh, there wasn't very much bend in me. There wasn't really much flex in me. I've been living by myself since I've been 17 years old. And you think you're going to come in and put your shoes on my fucking couch? Yeah, right. See, those are the kind of things I mean. And so... You know, you're trying to like, okay, Sarah, we're working on ourselves. We're trying to get better at this. You know, just tell them like, when your shoes are on my couch, I'm not really feeling that. Who, <laughs> right? So that's just an example. I mean, I didn't have that go on, but I'm just giving you an example of how this could work. <clears throat> you know, I sent a message out uh, last night and today that I normally wouldn't send, but it was the time. That was what I needed to do. That was definitely what I needed to do. Um, I want you guys to take time to merge with the beloved. And what does that mean? I didn't title, I didn't put this in my title. I knew what I was talking about and I didn't put this in my title because when you talk about sex, sacred sex, you get all these creepy fucking creeps and I don't have them to do, right? I don't have one more fucking creepy creep to do. Sacred sex is where it's at, girls, guys, everybody, right? <clears throat> Merging with the beloved. So you take off your clothes, you sit there, and you get worked up in your sex, right? And you know where it's going. So tantra, whatever you want to do, right? So you bring this sexual energy up, 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 and out. And it fires off. It's the best orgasm that you could ever have in your whole entire life and nobody even needs to be there and you don't even need to touch yourself you can you can do it however you want right my house needs to be clean I need to be clean all of these things need to happen for me to feel like this is how it's going down right God loves us and all that we are doing even if it seems crazy as hell even if you cuss somebody out even if you let somebody go you know, God knows why we're doing this. God knows why we're sticking up for ourselves in the name of love. God knows why we're fearful in the name of love. God knows all of our ancestors and what they've been through and where we are now and where we're trying to go. God knows, right? So this merging with the beloved is like being naked in the presence of God to me. Being just vulnerable as hell. Like, all right, here it is. Here's mine. Here's what it is. Here's what I want. I don't want to hurt anyone to get it. I want to get it on my own. I want to, you know, be strong and sturdy and stable. You know, I always set intentions whenever I'm doing sacred sex to bring that up, right? Set intentions are the things I want to create. Set intentions of the, the atmosphere I want to create, the things I want to do. We feed off of others' emotions, and that's big, and that's what kept coming up. 
you know, so even if you're far away, we just keep feeding off of people's emotions. And so, you know, I've been getting messages of people that watched me like way, way back when I started and they're like, Sarah, you know, I don't know what it is, but your videos always get me high. And I'm like, I don't know, man. I'm coming out here just pumping love, you know? And it's so funny, just by watching a video or, or whatever, you can feel this in your body. Even though I'm telling my story, it has nothing to do with your story, all this stuff, you can feel this in my body. Would you believe I just had a hard night last night? It was rough. But you gotta work on that. You gotta transmute that. You guys saw I was pissed off. I wanted to kick somebody in the throat. I went and ran the steps. That's what I needed to do. You know, <clears throat> We're always, always manifesting with God. We're always, always co-creating with God. And if you're not, then you're in the doo-doo. If you're not, you're thinking about the doo-doo. You're thinking about the 3D. You're thinking about what people say is real. Get up in here. I'm not saying, um, I don't know. I mean, sometimes it feels like you are making it up, this place that you want to see, this heaven on earth that you want to see for your kids and for your family and everything like that. But... I know for sure that we're manifesting with God. I know for sure that every time I sit and I merge with the beloved in a sacred sex space, that I'm creating greatness in my life. And it doesn't come right away. Um, guys, you know, for this twin flame union, whether you're together already or apart already, you are in union. You are already one. Already one. And so the troubles that you have are the troubles that they have. And how you deal with them is normally how they deal with them too. You know, a lot of people explain it as like a negative and positive polarity. Like a magnet. You know, you just you 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 just draw each other to each other. I mean, if I were to sit down and do a real video about the way the universe just pulls him and I together, you your socks would be knocked off, right? Look past the 3d right every single one of us man woman whatever we all have karma with us we all have things that we've brought through our ancestral lineage we all have things that we carry with us that we pass to our kids that we you know we link up with these people that have these very similar karmatic energies or whatever you got to see through it you got to see the love you know i could look back and think of all the cheating and the lying and the manipulating that I've seen in, in, in relationships, or I could just see this love that I've never really seen exist on the planet, right? You got to radiate love. Practice Tantra. Learn about it. Learn about your energetic body. Learn about yourself. Become aware of the male and female energy in you. Become aware of that in you. You have the male energy and the female energy. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I used to always work in a male dominated field and so I was very masculine and then you know as I kind of transitioned my work and transitioned my stuff um, I learned to be more in my feminine and you know as a woman that was really hard you know to be a girly girl and to paint my toenails and you know wear skirts and all of those things they didn't even feel right at first but the more that I do it the more it gets more comfortable and you might have a man that has always been in feminine energy and then when he has to get into his masculine energy that might be a little crazy you know you might have a man that's always been in masculine energy and to tune into his feminine energy might feel a little vulnerable might feel a little crazy honor people's past honor where they're at most people aren't going to walk up to you like hi i'm sarah i spent the beginning of my life in a masculine energy now i'm learning to you know love my feminine and embody them both and bring them together in my heart space not too many people will talk like that right uh my friends do but not too many it's finding a cosmic balance inside of yourself so like the whole entire cosmos and the planets and everything all exist within you and we have to find that balance no one can do that for us no relationship is going to fix that no coach or healer or whatever is going to fix that well you know my coaching is pretty dope though it does help you find alignment which is this um but, you know, I leave it up to you. You know, I, I, you have to do the work. I can't do the work for you in my coaching. And that's why I love my group. And that's why I love my coaching. Because they are doing this work. So, you know, in my five or six people that I have in there, we're raising the vibration of the planet. We're changing lives across the board. Thank you. Keep going if you see this. Um, <clears throat> you know, did you ever think to yourself, like, I'm a wonder of life. 
man, I'm amazing. Do you, do you play with life? You know, I know one thing about me and, and being um, too much of my masculine side is that I had a really hard time being playful with life. I had a really hard time with not taking everything so serious. I had a really hard time with breaking away from my work. I had a really hard time with, um, you know, this is like the divine feminine side of you, right? Getting playful, loving like a child. That's the divine feminine side. I love you, Jody. Um, you know, knowing that you are unlimited being, you have unlimited potential. And so if you're out here and you're fooling with people that are telling you all these limits, 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 well, of course, the energy transference is going to make you think that you aren't limitless. But trust me when I tell you, you're a limitless human being. You know, our soul is trying to get our attention to show us that we are limitless, but our humans are trying to make sense out of it, right? Our feminine is trying to show us that we're limited we're, we're unlimited our masculine is trying to be logical about that and that's the internal fight that's what it is right it's finding that all in you um do you ever just take time to feel unconditional love in your day i do i do it all the time i do it all the time and without even telling my baby i'm teaching her through the energy to do that too um, do you ever take time to indulge in your imagination, to get into your imagination and just let it rip in there? That's what I do every morning. It's what I do every single morning before I start my day. I go into my imagination and I just, I write about it, I see it, I give thanks for it, I, you know, I just feel that love, right? You know, you always want to keep a childlike sense of wonder because when you get too tough and you get too rigid, then that's whenever you feel like you're losing control. That's when you feel like it's hopeless and worthless and doesn't make any sense, right? So concentrate on the good things in your life. Yes, I love my imagination. And I love that I meet you, Chastity, in my imagination. You know, we do some fun shit of my imagination, playing outside and all that stuff. I love to see women raising their kids to embrace their imagination and to, you know, me and True get into telling these stories and getting into our imagination. It's super cool, you know, to, to raise my baby like this. And a lot of people don't raise their babies like this. And so a lot of times, you know, my Facebook friends are like my best friends because they do raise their babies like this. And they do also know what it feels like <clears throat> from the outside people who are real life to look at you and say, what? You're raising your baby in a dream world. Like, this isn't even real life. And I'm like, oh, no, we talk real life, but we don't live there. <laughs> it's so much fun. I know. I love you, girl. <clears throat> I love you. I mean, I love that my baby believes in angels and fairies and all energy. You know what I mean? And I'll tell her, that's a funky vibe. That's why we're just going to get away. We're going to shield ourselves off. I'll shield myself off. It's so funny. I never sit like this, but my baby, every time we're meditating, she sits like this. It's like she has this inner knowing and I'm like, roll with it, girl. <clears throat> I love you. Concentrate on the good things in life, guys. There's so much good in life. And if you're not seeing it, you got to make some changes in your life. <clears throat> See beyond what is going on. See through what is going on. Don't let what's going on shape your future. Don't do that. Release it. If there's something going on that you don't like, release it. In the name of love, you can just release it in the name of love. I'm releasing this in the name of love. That's how you find resolution to it. Feel that relief of releasing. You know, a lot of times... <clears throat> just me last night you know I'm holding on trying to make this good trying to make this good and I'm like you know what I got to release this in the name of love and then all of a sudden I felt like this relief relief come all over me like oh it's that easy yeah it's that easy you can release and still love relax imagine what it will feel like after it's chaotic right so after you work through the situation, after you do the self work, after you love up on yourself, imagine what it feels like, right? Because it's like you go through this hard time, you alchemize all that, you rise back up and you feel better than you did before you started, before it came up, right? All these things come up for a reason, to push you to your best self. Um, you know, guys, the angels are really here for us. Ask them to help you. 
you know, another message from them today was be patient. You know, the desire that you have where creators were desiring things, right, is not ready to emerge in your life just yet. So don't push for it. You know, you might be ready, but it's not ready for you just yet right now. Be patient and know that that still exists. Know that all the things that you're creating, all the things that you're seeing and desiring and spending time on, they really do exist. But you just have to move the energy better. You have to, you know, it's a constant like movement of energy, changing, shifting the energy. Um, see the entirety of situations. You know, I could look at my situation and think, oh, well, fuck him. He don't respect women. But the whole thing is, is I have to look back and see that a lot of this has to do with the way he was raised, the things he saw growing up, the things he went through in his personal life. The things I saw when I was raised, the things that I grew up with, the things that I saw in my personal life, my love life, right? Um, so you have to look at the whole situation. You know, in love yourself, it's not about fuck everybody else, right? It, when you're loving yourself and when you fully love yourself, you really do love the other person even if it doesn't go your way. You really do want the best for other people even if it has nothing to do with you that's what unconditional love is hey love i don't just want this to go my way i want this to be good for both of us i don't want to make someone try to love me or manipulate any kind of love on anyone i want it to be natural i want it to be on its timing divine timing um the better you get at waiting, the happier you will be. That's what the angels were telling me today. And so, you know, I'm guilty. I'm not always so patient. I try for 80-20. Normally I am. Sometimes I'm not. I hit a point last night where I really wasn't. Um, <clears throat> ask the angels to shield you in harsh situations. And that's what I was talking about. <clears throat> I should have shielded myself last night. And I didn't. So, you know, just a simple reminder that you can just, Hi, love! You can just ask the angels, hey, I got some shit going on. Please shield me off. They love that shit. They can't wait. They're just like standing around like, ask me, ask me, ask me. Ask me to help you. Ask me. I'm here, right? We just don't realize it yet. I believe in the sweetness of life. I believe in heaven on earth. I believe in the land of milk and honey. I believe in this stuff, right? But you must be authentic to get to this place. And so what is being authentic? You know, I, I struggle through that a lot for the past three years. And like, I don't know, I'm being real as I can be. I don't know, I'm being real as I can be. And like, that's the part you have to be patient with too, because you know, we're programmed to be this certain way, to do this certain thing, to make this much money, to be this kind of mom, to be this kind of daughter, sister, brother, whatever we gotta do, right? But you have to be authentic and real to yourself to live this heaven on earth and that's a process it's a process of first of all even noticing whenever programming comes up noticing whenever you know what everybody thinks you should be is what you're comparing yourself to right and then you know learning to speak up for the things you believe in learning to step out for the things that you feel in your heart you know this is a giant process and being authentic isn't just like one day you're like, you know what, today I'm going to wake up and I'm going to be authentic. No, it's a process. It's a process. And so, you know, ask your angels, help me to be more authentic. Help me to see where I'm holding myself back. Help me to see where I'm not being real with who I really am and what my heart wants to do. The angels are here to help you, right? So, um, you know, being authentic in heaven on earth is like where you're not wanting anything yet you're nourished in both tangible and subtle ways so like the real stuff and the stuff you can't see right and so it's like I don't really want anything out here but I'm nourished all the time by conversations by my neighbors by my family all these things that are going on right um abundance is an energy that you are a part of so whether you believe that or not whether you feel that in your life or not it is for real all your needs are being met it's just sometimes we think that we need things that we really don't need you know this is like a nourishment in every form and so it's like you know yeah people think nourishment they think food but like nourishment you know my friends are nourishment to me 
uh, my baby and my time together with her is nourishment for me. The talks I have with my Nana and my mom, that's nourishment for me. Um, seeing how we are breaking ancestral patterns and it is hard on everyone, the same but different, right? That's nourishment. You are blessed as you learn to trust your heart. And that's a big one. And because a lot of our ancestors did not trust their heart. Yeah, you know, I get it. I get it. The, the vibration of the planet was low. Do you believe in something wonderful? Because you're blessed. Like, you're blessed. So do you believe that you're blessed? Do you believe that there's unearned, unexpected things coming your way right now? That's the vibration you need to hold. Because if you don't believe, you're not going to see it. If you believe, then that's how you get it. It's deep. You know, I'm talking energy to you. I'm talking about looking through your third eye, not focusing on all what the people say is real, right? Divine intervention happens every day. Every day divine intervention is going on when you really need it the most. You know, when you're not following your intuition, when you're not being authentic, sometimes in a worst case scenario, the angels come in and divinely intervene. God bless them. That's okay. Be thankful for the blessings in your life, guys. You know, if, you know, last night felt like a lesson that I have just been through my whole entire life, right? But it came up again because it wasn't quite integrated yet, because I wasn't quite living it yet, right? So it was a challenge for me to break this cycle in my life. And I'm sharing this with you, right? Because it's real. It happens to you too. <clears throat> this does not mean that I'm going backwards. This means that I have to revisit the same pattern with a new perspective. It's the same thing. It's the same thing for you. We all have these patterns of how we live our lives, right? And we're breaking these patterns to live our authentic selves, right? And so the lesson has to come back up to make sure that you can smooth through it, right? So normally something like what happened last night and today would have knocked me off for like two weeks. I went, took a run, came and took a shower, talked to God. And now here I am doing a video. I don't know, man got to work on yourself. This is self-work. This is big, deep self-work. This isn't any kind of work that anyone else can give to you or do for you. There's no place like home. Being you. There's no place like being you. You know, you guys, <clears throat> have you ever been somewhere where you feel like you couldn't be you? This little fly is coming around me. Have you ever felt like that? <clears throat> that sucks. You know, and then do you have friends where you can just like totally be yourself? That's good. That's what it feels good. Being comfortable in your own skin. You know, I meet so many people in the work that I do that they don't even like themselves at all. And then they're expecting somebody else to come and fill up their cup. That's not how it works. You know, you are your home. You are your everything. Fill you up. And then you can give to everybody else. You know, being you is the safest, most secure place you're ever going to be. For sure. Being you is a comfortable place to rest and create. Right? Being you is trusting you. Being you is being the observer. Seeing through the eyes of the soul. Authentic you, that's home. So if you feel uncomfortable, you're not being authentic with yourself. You know, a lot of times, guys, when we're in transition, it feels real chaotic. It feels like, you know, we're in between things. Like, we got all these these dreams and these things that we see out here. And we got this life that we're leaving behind here. And we're not really sure what's going to go on in the future. And, you know, should we let our guard down? Should we trust again? Should we try again? Just go to love. Let go of assumptions. Be curious about life. Be playful with life. Play at life. If you are messaging me and you're really serious and you're in a really serious fight or argument or something going on, go play. I'm going to pick up True up from school and we're going to go to the park and we're going to play for real. Like, and I get in there. Like, I get in the tubes. I do that because I need to play. 
because I need to be a spy and I need to find the tiger and I need to do all of those things that my baby's doing to forget about all this real life stuff that's getting on my fucking nerves. You know, all my life, I told Angela and Mia White a long time ago, this real life shit gets on my nerves. It's so bad. Trust the process of change and growth. I know that change and growth is so hard sometimes. I do it too, girl. I knew you did, girl. I knew you did. You know, admit not knowing. You know, do I know everything about being a twin flame? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. I know when I learned the science of it, it made a lot more sense to me. Do I know that this man that I'm dealing with is definitely my twin flame? I don't know. But I know that when they say all the signs and symptoms and everything else, it fits, boy. <laughs> Do I know if we're going to end up together or, or I'm just going to be me by myself or with somebody else? No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I know what I know and I don't know what I don't know. And it's okay to admit it. You know? I, uh, you know, I know about energetic alignment. I know about the energetic body. I know about the divine masculine and the divine feminine in you meeting in the heart space. That's why I'm a vibrational alignment coach. I don't really know everything about twin flames. When I do, maybe I'll start coaching some people, right? Do I believe that this can be for everybody? Yes, because the love in my heart wants to believe that. Do I know for sure? No. <laughs> do I know not a lot of people would take this job? Yes. <laughs> it's deep work. I've stayed up late. I've woken up early. I have expressed things I didn't want to express. I have admitted things I didn't want to admit. I've messed up. I've, you know, just admit not knowing everything, right? So a lot of you guys who don't know that you can go out and get filled up from the energy of a tree, you don't have to act like you know. Just try it. You know, and when you first do it, you're going to be like, I don't really know if this works, but I'm going to try it out. That's okay. All right. For everybody who didn't see, here's our together feathers. So if you ever lost anyone, me and True Make These, if you feel like you want to be together with them, please give me a message. We got some dope ones on back order right now. Um, I love you guys. I really do. I love you because we're all connected. I love this crazy work that I'm supposed to be doing out here. I love that we can, we don't have to look at real life all the time. We don't have to live there. You know, the real life to me is the doo-doo. And I always loved quantum physics. You know, I took a lot of quantum physics classes in my 20s and my friends would be like, what the hell are you doing? Um, I didn't really know, right? I was just doing it, it felt good. I was pulled, my intuition pulled me in there. And it's super dope because it's like, you know, after something happens in the 3D in the real life, it's like it just crunches down and then there's a new creation by what you're creating, thinking, feeling, and saying. And I've learned to go back into my inner child and crunch that down and recreate that. I, you know, I've learned that I don't have to settle for what just happened. <clears throat> it can crunch down and I can recreate something different. Uh, I spend a lot of time by myself doing this work, guys. I'm okay, Lair. I love myself. When you love yourself, you're okay to be by yourself. I am never lonely. Mm -mm. Nope, true sad hatter this weekend, and everyone was like, oh my gosh, come hang out, come do this, come do that. And I was like, mm, just gonna chill. Me and my angels, we're just gonna hang out. I worked a little bit, bought a new couch. I, I don't know, I don't know. I don't always like to be around a lot of people because I know about energy transfer. I don't always like to answer my phone because I know about energy transfer. Um, I love you guys because we're all connected. <clears throat> I know that this work is deep. I know that you can do it. I know that you're amazing. I know that you deserve to have everything you ever dreamed of. I know that you're limitless. I know that you have all the same access as me to unconditional love. I know it's up to you to clear out your traumas and your hurts and your ancestral wounds and patterns. Uh, you know, if you're stuck or any of this resonated with you and you have any questions, message me. I love to talk energy, frequency, vibration. Um, you know, for me, having my little girl, 
you know, it's so important for me to get this right, but in the same sense, I know I have to be patient. I can't rush the process. I can't rush the flow. Does anybody know what time it is? I broke my computer. I still sleep on it. Um, I know that we're all creating our lives, and sometimes we're creating our lives um, on autopilot. And so I encourage you today to be the best deliberate creator that you can be. You're creating your life. You're creating your life by your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. And so if something's off in that space, only you know about it. You have to go in there. Oh shit, I gotta go. I love you guys because we're all connected. One love, message me, anything.